So just a heads up, I, we changed the Great Search music to be more retro-y, robotic sounding. Uh, one of our team members who is uh, always doing our music, uh, they just had a kid, so it'll be back soon. But uh, that was courtesy of JP uh, doing that roboticized version of From the Desk of Lady Ada. Thank you, JP. The Great Search. Um, I think it's a catchy tune because normally when you're trying to do electronics now, you're like, where in the world is that part I need? And then you think about the great search with did you key. So that's where that song came from, and that's why we're doing it. And Lady Ada, let's, let's to go to... A catchy catchy tune you can hum while yeah. you're scaring for parts. So um, the part I'm looking for, I just uh, finished up the desk of Lady Ada where I talked about designing a camera breakout. And the camera module I'm using um, draws enough current that it actually starts overheating and, and the, the heat affects the, the visual quality. So I want to find a uh, small passive heat sink that I can stick on the back of my uh, camera breakout. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, the camera itself, you know, is, is glued onto um, the PCB. So maybe you can go to the overhead real fast and I can show. So you've got the camera breakout and then the camera um there's a little bit of a there's a metal body and then there's this um i don't know if it's thermal but it's like this very thin tape so you remove this and then i think this might be thermal um you remove this place it in here and then uh, this pcb is going to extend a little bit farther but now this is stuck onto the back here and then on over on the back of the pcb i'm going to have a lot of vias through the ground plane and then um, have a little heat sink on the back. So the heat sink, you know, it's going to be, I think the, the largest it can be, it's going to be, it's basically between like um, eight millimeters and it looks like I can do like, like 10 millimeters. That's kind of, you know, this is 10. So that'll, that'll cover it. You know, I don't know if it makes sense to go much, much larger than 10. Um, and I want something, you know, flat, um, you know, rectangular with fins. Um, and, you know, I'll try a couple, you know, so there's, there's the math behind it. You can calculate um, how much heat you're going to dissipate. But because it's going through a PCB with VS, really, I'm just going to pick about a bunch of different heat sinks and try them all and just see uh, which one works best. So let's go to the DigiKey. And uh, so it starts for heat sink. Take us to the heat sink category. Um, so there's a lot of heat sinks. Uh, this category, you know, it has, uh, you know, 100,000 items. So there's a lot of different options. Let's start with just like active and, you know, maybe normally stocking, um, which is still, you know, 40,000 that are like available now. Um, the next thing is, you know, there's all sorts of different types, but looking, um, you know, I basically want something like this, right? This is a 17 by 17 millimeter, you know, by nine millimeter. And this is called a uh, square with fins. And then this is like a square with angle fins. But I think I just want, you know, basically square finned. So looking at this option, I think, you know, rectangular is also fine. I don't want a rhombus. I don't want round and then um, rectangular and square. Let's look at those. Okay, so that's like most of them, to be honest. So yeah, so like lots of things. These are the clip-on type, which I don't want. Um, these go on to, onto like a TO220 or something. They're really cool, but you know, I, I can't use a clip-on type. Um, so I want maybe one that isn't a clip type. Um, but we can also do um, length and width instead. So remember I wanted something between like 8 and 10 millimeters, and then this is between 8 and, uh, you know, maybe I'll go up to 11-ish millimeters. And that really cuts down um, the numbers. There's, there's not that many small heat sinks. Like, again, most heat sinks are for large chips. But all these are really good. Um, so like this heat sink, you can see it's, you know, this is 10 millimeters, I think. Uh, sorry, this one is 10 by 10. This one is eight and a half by eight and a half. So I might try like one of these and one of these. Of course, the larger the heat sink, um, the more heat you're gonna dissipate. 
There's also like these um, kind of the mega longs. Um, this I don't think it's going to work out. Um, it, of course, will dissipate a ton of heat, but um, you know, people are just going to knock this off of the back of the board. It has to be pretty compact so it doesn't like get in the way of, of things that are behind it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, especially since this one, you know, there's 50,000 in stock and they're like 55 cents a piece. I think this one is a good option. This is um, 10 by 10 millimeters, seven millimeters high, uh, black anodized aluminum. It doesn't come with the thermal tape attached to it almost certainly. So that's something that has to be done separately. Um, we stock in the shop, like you can just get 3M thermal tape and you cut a little square out and you, and you put it on the back and then um, that gives you a good attachment. Um, you definitely want to use a thermal tape and not just double-sided tape because you want the adhesive to, to pass. You don't want to be an insulator, right? Because the one thing you don't want is it to insulate um, thermally. So this one is the one I want. This is the S-Man WSW Components V2017B. I have a lot in stock, so that's kind of like a good sign. It means I could actually like ship this with the camera breakout board and... Um, not have to worry about it going out of stock anytime soon. And that's the great search? That's it. That's my heat sink.